Hi guys, Bart from PA Brew News. He's got a big beer today. One that I've always wanted to try as soon as I heard about it. That's a while ago now. But, this is the 2014. They only brewed this once before, I think in 2010 or 12. In 2014, Reserve of Mirror Mirror from the Shoots Brewing Company, Bend, Oregon. So shout out to Kevin Clements. He's from Oregon. Oregonian. Uh, Mirror Mirror Barley Wine with 50% aged in wine barrels. Doesn't spe specify, spe 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 specify what type of wine. I think Oregon area is pretty big for like Pinot Noir, I believe. Something like that. Red, deep red wine. Uh, Reserve Series Romance all began with our first release of this limited edition brew. Mirror Mirror, born of, of a double batch of Mirror Pond Pale Ale, is an inspired barley wine with layering uh, ale layered with uh, intriguing nuances. Explore this latest incarnation and enjoy with its delicious complexity in every sip. Well, talks it up pretty good. 11.2 alcohol by volume. Best after date of 2.24.15. We're about a week and a half after that, so that's good. So why not crack it open, huh? Wax top. Cut off the wax prior. prior. Let's see if I can get a bite on it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <coughs> and there we go. All right. Already uh, caramel copper tone going on. Soft haze looking. It looks a little hazy. Just a soft haze. Not really that bad. Overall, it looks actually looks pretty clear. A little haze in there, but yeah, just a lovely copper, copper caramel color. All right, aroma time. Mm, <laughs> I'm gonna warm it up with my hands while I smell it. Brown sugar, yeah, brown sugar caramel toffee. Wow. Yep, those 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 lovely like. A little bit of the oaky, oaky, oaky tone come up, a little tannic oak. A little bit of soft, I want to say a little butterscotch or vanilla mixed in there. It smells a lot like, uh, reminds me of Backwood Bastards a little bit, I think, in the nose. Yep, really nice English barley wine kind of smells. Really malty. A little bit of raisin fig in there. Yeah, I am pulling out, pulling out some of that dark fruit coming from some wine. I think it might be coming from the barley wine itself. Wow, but there's a ton of dark fruit in there. <coughs> a lot of raisins, dates, figs, those kind of notes. Yeah, just really, really rich, really rich, sweet, dark notes. Real nice looking beer too. Alcohol legs already sticking everywhere. Let's get into it. Cheers. Yep. Uh, yeah. Sticky, chewy caramels. Toffee. Those nuggety. Um, Husky nut husks, a little bit in there. Don't make fun of me, it's in there. Shut up. <laughs> a little tannic oak in there. Mm. Burnt sugars, brown sugars. Mm. There's a little bit of a dryingness to it. Um, <coughs> it, it might be a soft... Um, the soft top in there, I don't know what they have, but it seems a little bit more like a touch of that floral booze coming through, and a little bit of a, a tannic, uh, the oak tannins kind of drying out the palate way at the back. Almost, it tastes almost like a soft smoke in there. Mm. I can see how this gets better and better and better and better with age. Um, I got this over at the Bottle Works in Sunbury, Pennsylvania. 
if I get over there and there's still a bottle of it, I'm going to buy another one. Let it sit for a while. See what's going on. If I could score a bottle of their first edition, that would be even cooler. I'm going to be homebrewing a sim similar style to this coming up here. Double batch of an IPA, turn it into a barley wine, take the other grains and make a regular IPA out of that thing. <laughs> but, anyway, back to this. The wine is very, the, the wine barrel aging is weird because I'm not getting huge wine notes. I'm getting spicy peppery notes. Spicy peppery, raisins, figs, those notes. Tannic oak, I'm getting that. Soft vanillas in there, mixing them with a almost butterscotch. I'm getting those notes, but I'm not pulling out a rounded wine quality. So I don't know what type of wine, and I don't know if it's a wash bottle, new barrels, old barrels, no idea. I was assuming if it was really fresh, juicy, uh, wet barrels with the wine, it would stand out more. So I don't know if that's going on here or not. Anyway, back to the beer. Really nice. Overall, just real nice, like a, a medium to full medium mouthfeel. Those dark chewy notes are really nice. Uh, <coughs> let's see, I'm just kind of pondering, pondering upon the actual wine concept. I'm definitely getting some tannic oak, getting those those senses of the barrel. Um, I've had some stuff from the shoots where there, it had a very, very rich, lovely Cabernet Sauvignon kind of style in it of the uh, of 2011 Abyss I had. Wow, boom, bold wine. I'm expecting that in this, not getting it. Still a great beer. I'm going to rack this all the way up to a big 9.5. It's that good. It's really good. 20, $20, bottle, $20 a bottle, something like that, but it's worth it. You'll really enjoy it. It's been Paul from Bay Brew News. 9.5 out of 10 for Mirror Mirror from Deschutes Brewing Company. Check that out, the 2014 vintage of it. I hope they keep making this uh, staggering years. It's a beautiful beer. Cheers.